Um, you want to choose uh, three top n- and okay. Netflix? I wanted to do this because Hulu and Netflix. I'm cut. I'm kind of cutting the cable on yeah. on um on Time Warner. On I, I have Directv specifically. I use Time Warner for internet, which is they've been fantastic. Uh, for Directv, I'm cutting the cable. I got it down to the lowest package until our our contract is out, and then I'm out. You okay. know, you don't need it. No, I don't even watch TV. I dude. watch sports, what I like. But but here's here's the thing. So we're moving toward a Hulu, Netflix nation, uh, a PlayStation View nation. Uh, you know, a place that's all it's mostly digital and on demand. Right. Um, with some TV live, str- you know, thrown in there. So Hulu top three, and I can name them real quick. I I just I love Nathan for you. Mm-hmm. hilarious have y'all seen that i haven't seen that dude one. that's my number one recommendation go watch it it's this dry dry humor uh canadian uh graduate from i college. fucking love canadian humor he's he's so funny he pretends to be like a business uh major or like a, a professional business executive like uh you know advisor and he goes to these small businesses who are like kind of preys on them they're unassuming they're usually foreigners or people who are just like you know they're looking for real help right and he gives them ridiculously dumb ideas but then he backs it with a bunch of money oh and he I backs know. it with a bunch of ideas i, I told you about you this told didn't we explain this, this yes, on this podcast already we damn did. it so i don't need to repeat myself right. but please everybody go look that it up was it's a good show yes. hilarious I remember that I, once you started talking about it, i was like i yeah I yeah didn't we, we did talk video. about this damn it okay so last two last two i'll just throw in the mini project i love that and uh secrets and lies I've so there's a murder it. mystery one for y'all it's kind of more serious drama isn't that one kind of new yes yeah the first season i've heard of the last two but i haven't heard of the first one listen if you guys for you if you guys are gonna watch anything i did a fucking binge of 10 episodes yesterday they're 30 minutes long it just came out it's called the ranch i saw that dude you have to see this it is ashton kutcher it's uh, Chris or uh, the dude, the guy from the dude. Remember the dude from um, the Big Lebowski, uh, the old man that narrates at the Elliot beginning. Smith. Elliot Smith. Is it Elliot Smith? Yeah. 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 And then uh, or from Sam Smith. Or, hold on, let me look it up. Uh, Keep Sam going Sam I'm, Elliot. Sam Elliot. Sam Elliot. Elliot Smith. And then um, the guy from um, uh, that '70s show, Stephen. Mm. What? Do you remember that '70s show? Yeah, but I don't remember the character name. Steven, Steven. What, do you, what did he look he was like? The, he was the, the pot curly hair. Yeah, the curly Yeah, with the glasses all the, the time. Glasses with all the shades time. or whatever. Well, yeah. Ashton Kutcher and Steven are brothers. They were they were on the 70s show. Now they're on this right, show. Right, right. And in this show, they're they're country brothers living out in Colorado, and they have a fifteen hundred acre ranch. And uh, Sam Elliott is the father who's trying to take care of this ranch that's falling apart losing money they're fucking broke as hell uh, ashton kutcher is like a, a 34 year old washed up quarterback that's a that's like a, a third string on like um uh, minor league teams you know it's just washed up right and the and the and, and the the series starts off with him coming home because he's got nowhere else to go. He's he didn't make it with his football career. And it's a sitcom. It's a sitcom. It's an actual sitcom. And the and the best part about this sitcom is that they curse. Why is it called the ranch? Because it takes place on on the father's ranch. Oh, okay. In Colorado, I was over here thinking it was like a western or some crap when no, I saw no, it. No, yeah, no, like modern, a ranching, farming kind of thing. It's a small town, and I can relate because I live in a small town, and everything that was going on, I could totally relate to because it's like you know everyone in this small town. Mm-hmm. Everyone knows everyone. Everyone fucks everyone. Everyone, what? everyone's going out with oh, everyone's so daughter. Kind of drama. And the, dude, <laughs> it, the two brothers, one's going out with a, a hot ass 22 year old. And then Steven, the brother's going out with her mom. Like the brothers are going out with the mother and daughter. It, 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 it's, it's fucking hilarious. It's a great show. I did a binge watch of all 10 episodes. It's part one. It just came out. Okay. And um, I rated it five stars because I want them to nice. keep making more, bro. It's it. I, I laughed. The 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 humor in it is right up our alley, and you guys mm. gotta check out. It's called the Ranch. I I, I immediately fucking tweeted them last night. Like I, I I followed them on Twitter, and I'm like, guys, we need a fucking season two because this shit was the bomb. It was quite literally one of the, and it's a Netflix original. Mm. Speaking of. Um 
when Daredevil came out this month. Oh, I took yes. my time. I'm taking my time watching it. Nice. Not, Punisher's like, on the next season, I, I, too. I was tempted to just watch all of them all as much as I can, like in a day or two. Right. Oh, but you took your time with this. Now one. I'm like one one. I'm still doing just one a week, dude. Oh, uh, what? Yeah, because I don't want to. I don't want to like run out of Kill it and it. Yeah. just be like, you know, I know what I, mean? I know what you mean. It's tempting. Like for me, I found out about it yesterday, and I ran out of it yesterday. Yeah, it's, I was like, fuck, I want more, it's, and it's, I tweeted them. I was like, I need more, motherfuckers. But, but get like, starting like, on season I'm, two for for Netflix. Like, I really don't use it as much as I would like to. Oh, like, dude, it's so weird. I, I do tend to use Hulu more. Uh huh. But House of Cards just came back. Yeah, yes. see, I don't, I don't yeah. have anything. I just have WB Network and and Netflix. So when I log into Netflix, it's either if I have somebody hanging out and not next Netflix and then chilling. But right, like, right, right. Like if I'm like, well, just sometimes wanna, Netflix and chilling. Sometimes, okay. But there like, we go. What I watch the same things on there anyway. Same here. I, Family Guy, oh. uh, Walking Dead, and Breaking Bad. That's like all I ever watch on Netflix. So you repeat watching? Yeah, it? Oh, I just okay. put those, those are like my put, <laughs> put like I'm editing. I'm gonna put Family yeah, Guy on. That's a go to, right? Or you know, sometimes I'll put on like if I'm feeling adventurous, I'll. That's that's like thing. I tried Bojack Horseman. That's eh, a good. Uh, I eh. seen that one. That was that was um, entertaining. When a movie that I, I love like, taking chances on movies on Netflix, yeah, man. Sometimes, like if I see something that like oh, a like a cheesy bad. scary movie or something, There's tons or, of those. Or, or Sharknado. Oh. Yeah, like I'll throw something on once in a while. Um, I didn't enjoy the new Pee Wee too much. Oh, it was god awful. No, god damn it. Wait, so did Pee-wee's y'all? He's got a new one. I didn't watch that one. But I did watch the first episode of the new Full House one. Full Full House. I've only seen that one. You haven't? You I've only seen it's it. The so first one. Yeah. My favorite part, only thing I'm going to say about it is when they go, oh, uh, the M- Olsen twins Michelle. Are, are in New, new York, York with their fashion thing. And no, they do this fashion turn empire. to the camera. And it's like the best moment. Yes. That's the best moment. They, they, they break the fourth wall. But and- dude, I, I'm sorry to cut you off. I love... I love that 80s format, the laugh track, the whole fucking thing. It just it brings yeah. back so much nostalgia. You know what I don't like about it? The HD camera they're using. Really? Everything is in focus. I can see everything. Oh, yeah, especially in the kitchen scenes. It yes. just seems too... It's too perfect. It's edges. too oh, in really? place. Everything was in HD. You could see the wrinkles on all of the, their faces, and it's like you can see their blemishes That's on the their thing. skin. That's the thing. I don't like shows looking too... Too clear. Like, like, like I've been to friends' houses where they have nice TVs. I'm like, dude, I'm watching this movie, but it's, it looks fake. Like, it's yes. so... You it can, looks like... Too you're, clear. There's, too, you know what there's it such is? a thing. It's, it's the 240 hertz refresh rate because uh-huh. it makes it look like there's a human standing inside of the fucking TV. It yeah. doesn't, it no longer looks like an image. Uh, it looks like someone's watching. like yeah. in there and you're like, like, when I first saw that, Oh my yeah, God. Yeah. Like, like the movie that was the two movies come to mind that were like so distraction, distracting for me because it was so um, HD rise of the planet of the apes. Oh yes. Especially when it's like the bridge part and they're all like just attacking or whatever. I'm just like, I'm like, dude, I'm like, this looks like I'm watching a fucking video game. I was like, it looks uh, too CGI. It's too CGI. And then like when it shows somebody, it's just so clear because the human will be clear. And then they're like on a CGI. Yes. Like they're, they're running and the, everything behind them is CGI. You could just tell horrible, you know? And I'm like, I'm like, dude, this just, I like to see a little bit of, I don't want to say unfocusedness, but that's what I like about some, some people's YouTube yeah. channels. When you watch it, they're kind of like, they're fixed, but then it's like yeah, it looks, it the, looks the, natural. The fall off, the fall the, off the behind background, them. yeah, yeah. And it, it, it needs to look like that. I don't want every single thing looking like I'm looking at it. You yes, know? Right. like if I see a video of of, of you, I don't want to see like you crystal clear and everything. <laughs> I want to be able to like focus, like I'm focusing on you. I yeah, can, I can see that picture. Yeah, yeah. But and not, you're naturally, yeah. your eyes, you know, it, like what's right here, yeah. whatever this angle is, you see it. But it's yeah. your peripheral, and it's it's meant to not be perfectly clear. Yeah, and that, I like your, what you're saying. Yeah, it just it throws me off when everything's just so. I don't know. I don't know. And then there's, yeah, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. And um, and then it just looks so fake. Like you're, it looks like you're you, watching the making of video. You, you want you want to hear a perfect example of how HD fucks up a show for me? Perfect example, bro. Trailer Park Boys. I've never seen any of those. Oh, oh my, my god. god! The early stuff the is early awesome. Ones? Listen, so Eric, good. Start the Trailer Park Boys from from season one. 
Uh-huh. You'll fall in love with this fucking show. Season one, season two, but don't season put- three, season four. You'll start liking it. Season five, it'll start. It starts getting more into production. Season six, season seven. Okay, whoa, it whoa, ended. whoa, hold on. That's too far. Just okay. Just naturally fall into it slowly because it is a weird humor, but it's it is good. It's Canadian humor. It's good though. Bubbles is hilarious, but. The series ended after season seven. That was it. They okay. were done. There was no more talk of anything, right? They, and they brought it back. And then they brought it back to Netflix. And then oh, Netflix no. picked it up and they put in production. And with the production came the HD cameras and, and, and producers and crews. I need to go see this. And then season eight came out. Yeah. Season nine came out. Too much. For, no, season, by the Season 10 is already out. And it's like they got people like fucking Snoop Dogg on there. What? They got Tom Arnold coming on. It lost its, you its know what? homeliness. I want to say another show that felt the same way for me is It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Yes. Like yes. the first couple seasons yes. of that yes. show felt like like it was Organic. Pe- like 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 a like an indie indie like you know, um yeah like a like a like a Blair Witch Project type of thing where they start off by themselves shaky camera like it, it, it was new and it, it wasn't afraid to 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 do it like oh, how how do you say like they weren't afraid to. Like right now, Trailer Park Boys feels like it's all production. And if they stray back to the way they used to be, I feel like they're afraid that they might alienate their 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 viewers yeah. going back to the old way. But the old way is the way we all loved it, you know? They will never go back to the old way, even though that's what everyone's grown to love. Here's another good example. I'll make this quick because we can move on to something else. But the uh, um, hot, wet American summer. I haven't seen that one either. Oh, dude, I haven't seen that it's one. worth Paul watching, Rudd, right? Yes, it's yeah. it's worth watching. But so do this: watch the original film. Maybe a few days later, there's a there's a one hour documentary on Netflix or Hulu or whatever wherever it was about the making of that film, and that was really cool. And then you see. 10 years, 15, whatever, 20 years later it is that they're redoing this. Yeah. It is crazy to see how, how like where they're at now. And, um, but the jokes are great and it's, it's worth watching. Yeah. There's so much stuff on Netflix. I don't have there time. is. And you know what they say? Netflix says on the documentary that if you're on Netflix searching, you will find something to watch within two minutes. And I fucking laughed because I could spend a fucking hour just going oh, up me and too. down Same. sub menus. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, man, a whole hour passed by. I could have been watching <laughs> something, but instead I'm being super fucking picky on something that I really, really want to watch. And it's like, yep. I got an hour to kill, but and then, I spend and then you, that hour looking for something. And then you always go back to like something, something you've that you've already seen. watched. Yeah. It's because you want to play it safe, man. Netflix is fucked up it fucks with your mind bro 